Hi everyone, this is Charles again for chess.com. Thank you once again for being a part of this video. Um, for today's video lecture, we'll be talking about Aaron Nimzovich. Uh, this is not, you know, I'm not a specialist at Nimzovich's life. What I can tell you is that there were a lot of concepts that, uh, that he invented that were very influential uh, in my chess. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, or uh, I'm gonna show you a game where uh, where I could uh, bring these concepts to life. So what was it? What was one of Nimzovich? Uh, you know, one of his what do you call this maxims or axioms? Like I don't know what the proper term is. Nimzovich said that we shouldn't develop. Uh, we should we shouldn't de that pawn moves are not developing moves. And uh, when I was becoming a master in chess or above 2200, that was very influential to me. And I'll show you why. I used to play, let's say I were white here, e4, uh, c5, d4, pawn takes, c3. I would always be playing for the initiative. And uh, I'd sac sacrifice material to, to gain more time with my pieces and just to attack the king. And this is how chess was actually played in his time. This was, uh, this was very easily understood. But what happens when uh, when you just don't, uh, w when there is no attack, right? And then you, what do most players try to do? Or when they don't understand what, uh, how to proceed in a game, uh, they, they just try to keep on attacking as if that's all that could be done. And as we know, there are, there are rules to follow in chess. And, you know, that was a big uh, breakthrough for me. How to... You know, how to how to stop these compulsions from occurring. So let's say if I were white here, I'd make a move like h4. And, uh, okay, this move is interesting, but <laughs> but it's not necessarily the type of move that you want to play. Uh, and this could go on from uh, different positions where, let's say, uh, you know, uh, a g4 type of move. You know, I know there are a couple of g4... <laughs> Some of you G4 guys out there, you just want to push G4 and uh, and try to win the game like that because you're trying to force things uh, in a chess game. And that's not uh, what's important to realize is that there, there are rules to chess. And, um, and this is really not, uh, you know, how you reach that next level or uh, or how you just play chess in general. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.